Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. It's my turn to be prey again. Uh, we've had a couple of other people having goes so far today and so now it's swung around to me. And I've picked up a Vapid Stanier as my car of choice for now because it's reasonably nondescript. And I'm cruising down gently back into um, into Los Santos from the from the northwest at the moment. And there's a hunter over there, as you just noticed me. He's not even noticed that he's gone less than six. Okay, that's good news. So the the first checkpoint is oh here he comes back again. Is um, dead ahead of me down this road, quite a long way away. Stop dancing. Um. So it's dead ahead of me. I just need to keep going down here, and eventually I'll get there. Now I'm currently in sixth place, which means the checkpoint is legit for me to take. That's a suspicious looking hunter. Yep, okay, I gave myself away then, that was silly. I think he'd almost decided it wasn't me, then I started moving and he knew it was me. Now, I was trying to find a better car than this, really, um, but there was a distinct shortage of good ones up in the, uh, where I was up in the, up in the uh, Richmond Hills, which is a bit of a shame because I went there deliberately with the expectation of being able to find a decent car, but all there were was well there were quite a lot of these staniers there were also there were a few, and there were then there were lots of just better sports and supercars around which I'm not allowed to use because well that's the rules so I was kind of stuck a bit stuck with what to choose now there were a few sort of more nondescript cars around there were there were some gauntlets and in hindsight I probably should have taken one of those and there also there was also a radius or two that I saw but basically there was just a bit of a shortage of worthwhile vehicles so I ended up choosing this one and it's I mean that the actually the Stanier isn't isn't too bad it's it's a sort of it's a ge relatively generic sedan type car but it's not too slow it's not too lumbering when it when you try and go around corners and things so I don't think it's I don't think it's a terrible choice it's probably I don't know I, don't, I think it's probably not quite as good as the radius maybe I should have gone for that but but it doesn't do too badly, so as long as I can just sort of keep dodging in and out of the buildings and stay away from the rest of the hunters, I've got a chance. Now the thing is, I say as long as I can keep dodging and stay away from the rest of the hunters, um, Pete, the guy in, the, uh, in that green car that's following me quite well at the moment, is going to be giving the hunters a running commentary of where I am and what I'm doing. So he's going to make it as difficult for me to escape as he can. I um, mean, that's, the, that's the, his job. Um, so I, but I just need to oh, not do that. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Um, I need to stay ahead of him, stay away, um, stop him pinning me. That's the main thing, because if he can pin me, then all the other hunters can swarm in from wherever it is they come from, and make just generally. Oh, straight into the part, into the building site. That was a bad landing. Um, yeah, if, if if the other hunters can get it, if he can guide the other hunters to me, then I'm going to be in trouble because they, 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 they will obviously outnumber me and then they can, between them, they can try and pin my car and hold me down and and then another one of them can jump out and shoot me. So I'm going to carry on into um, into the ghetto area because this tends to be a very good place to lose people because there's lots of little winding alleyways like this one. And if you can get through, that, get through those and hide, then it makes you very, very difficult to find. So I think I'm probably going to be free at this point. However, I've said that before and been very, very wrong. So I'm going to keep going and keep sort of looking behind me like that. And yes, that seems seems to have done it. So I think, yeah, there's nobody following me. I'm going to risk a car change and get one of the old radiuses. Now the radius is is quite a good car for this sort of thing. It's not a standout amazing vehicle. But it's a generally reason, reasonably good sort of all-purpose vehicle, so I think this is quite, this is going to be quite a good one to, to have. And it's, I'd say it's, I'd say it's reasonably subtle. It's probably not that subtle because I use them quite a lot, so the um, the hunters are going to be kind of used to it. But still, it's it's reasonably normal. There's a lot of them around, so hopefully I'll be able to just sort of sneak reasonably well in it. Now I've lost them now, so which makes me, makes me feel it's that trying to get the uh, checkpoint is a legit thing to do. So I'm going to head straight in back in towards it now, without giving them time to uh, recover and recuperate and reorganise themselves. So let's see. I'm just trying to work out how to get there without. There's a green light. Let's take it. 
It's going to be down here somewhere. If it is down here somewhere, I think... Do I need to turn right here? Yes, I think if I turn right here, I'm going to barge through, because you can turn right on a red, that's allowed. Oh, there's the Chinese monument. Okay, that means I'm a... From first place, I'm going to go for it a bit more. Oh, there's Tristan. I'm going to take the checkpoint anyway, because I'm on the approach to it. So it's just down here. Round the... Ouch. Round this corner, thank you. And grab this checkpoint here. So, Tristan is often... Oh, God, there's loads of them behind me now. Tristan is often a tricky one to get away from because he's he tends to be quite good at driving and also moves quite quickly and we've played this game enough together that we sort of know each other's tricks like he's more or less used to me doing that by now so he's probably going to be vaguely capable of recovering so I need to follow up by doing something else quite quickly and there's Pete as well he's nuzzling me from behind I mean now my um the, rule, the name of the game now is to try and escape. So I've got Pete right behind me. Tristan isn't far behind me. I saw him when I glanced backwards then. And Pete is going to be, of course, giving him that running commentary again. So he will know... He wouldn't... Yep, there he is. Catch closing in on me. So he's going to know where I'm going. And because he's that bit further back, it's easier for him to sort of to dodge around... Those headlines are scary. For him to dodge around corners and things because my turnings won't be quite as unexpected for him. Because he's going to have... He's that bit further back, so he gets a little bit more warning. But he overshot that one. That's handy. So let's see if I can keep keep the uh, keep the momentum up. Oh dear, there comes Mike. But I managed to avoid him, so that's all right. Tristan still got Tristan. So let's at this point, I'm going to duck into the um, into the ghetto again because that worked for me so well last time. He's a bit close behind, a bit too close for me to do any sort of alleyway diving. Please be a way out. Please be a way out. Yes, there is. Excellent. Now. Is Tristan will struggle to negotiate that because it's awkward and fiddly. Oh no, he's still he's still there, he's still with me. But I have gained a little bit of distance on him with that with that manoeuvre. So the secret to avoiding the, the massive boat, the massive fireplace car, is to keep dodging in and out of the um, of the alleyways, which I've now left behind, which is a bit foolish. Um, to keep dodging in and out of the alleyways, around corners and things, and just, just keep doing funny stuff. Because that's that's much harder to do in the in the big heavy car. One of the other things I can try doing is changing direct is, is, is literally just turn, turning round. So going from heading one way to point, going literally 180 degrees in the opposite direction. Because he struggles with turning round, again, because the car's big and heavy. However, there are enough hunters around at the moment that turning round is probably going to be a risky strategy. So I just need to keep going, taking odd little routes like this, ideally. He's still with me. If I do a 180 like that. Is that going to help? I don't really know. No, no, that hasn't helped at all. Okay, this is just a matter of we have to keep going. Oh, another right radius there. That's got me turned around though, which as I said is quite ha Ooh, there's a mic. I'm upside down. This is not good. They're going to start shooting. I ha oh, that's a tyre gone. I'm now the radius... One of the reasons I like the Radius is that it's better with missing tyres than some of the more sporty vehicles. Uh, like the muscle, the muscle cars are absolutely terrible when they lose tyres. This one, oh, I don't know, it's it's struggling, but it still kind of has a chance, maybe? Well, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. I think I probably don't have a chance, but... Oh, especially not if I get stuck on a wall like that. And he's still shooting at me. I'm trying ducking. It's maybe working. If I can get through here... Are they with me? They're not. Let's get out of the car. Jump over the wall. Jump over the wall. Oh, he's gone the other way. Excellent. Run and hide, run and hide. If I can hide in here... I mean, at this point, I don't even care if they find the car. As long as they don't find me. I'm moving in my seat to try and see over the top of this wall. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go up here. If I make it up here, then hopefully I can steal a car from... As long as I don't get hit in the back of the head by a train. <laughs> I can make it up onto... 
here, try and stop an oncoming vehicle. Then I can... Stopping cars on the interstate, on the highway, is, is unsurprisingly difficult, actually. Because they don't really want to slow down for me. There we go, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so we've got one of the small muscle cars now. This isn't... These aren't too bad. I would like to change this car if I can. Because they're not, not my favourite. But they... They're passable, I suppose. There are much, much worse cars around. It's, it's got a reasonable turn of speed. I am, have to admit, I am really pleased with myself for getting away after having my tyres shot out then. That is, I feel, is quite an achievement. I'm, um, yeah, going to be a bit smug about that later. <laughs> okay, so, where's the next checkpoint? I took the one, I took the Vespucci Canals one. Let's slow down a little bit. Three, four is the airport, okay. So I'm going to head out towards the airport now. Generally keep an eye out around the car. And I'm going to try and drive sort of carefully. I sort of want what I'd quite like to try getting into the airport before the hunters do. So I can then come from an unexpected direction, like inside the airport. But I suspect because I'm in third place, fourth place at the moment, I'm probably not going to be able to get there first. So I think that's a, a bit optimistic. It would be quite funny though. And I'd still have to wait to go sixth until they all get close in. So I'm going to try... Oops. Um, not driving too slowly. A little bit faster, please. Not that much faster. <laughs> What's that car? Mm, don't know. I'm going to try getting down to the airport now. See if any of them are down there. No, I'm in fifth place now, so they're, all, they're mostly closer than me. I do still need to wait until I go sixth, though. So there's still some of them to come. Uh, one of still two of them further away than me. There's purple. He's turning round. Bad feeling about this. I'm gonna try and turn here and just get away. I'm sort of <laughs> struggling a little bit because I'm trying to both drive like an AI. Oh, I'm sick. Excellent. Um, and look behind me at the same time and that's tricky that's taking all of my concentration <laughs> and I'm still not doing a great job of it okay I have now gone sixth though so that's um that means I uh, the the checkpoint is fair game and I'm approaching it from hopefully I think this takes me down into the airport yes there's the as I come along here am I where I think I am I think I think I'm where I think I am or am I a bit further up oh no no this is, this is where I thought it was I Yes, there's there's the, the infamous jump just to my right here, um, that one, that people go up and down and things usually go badly for everyone when they do. In fact, I went over that in a gauntlet in a previous episode and I was going so fast I hit the, I hit an advert well beyond an advertising board well beyond it. So I'm going to try and head into the airport um, nice and calmly. Now the checkpoint is just down here ahead of me. I think we haven't been to the airport for so long I've um, almost forgotten where it is. There we go, fifth place. So I'm probably going to see Mike very soon because he, he likes to lurk around fairly close to the checkpoint. There he is. And there's... There's Paul. Oh dear. Yep, here they all come now. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can at least get the checkpoint before I... Um, there we go, I've got the checkpoint. So now it's... Can I escape? But not if my car's upside down, I can't. Okay, I'll drive over the, all of the cars like that. Oh, now I'm stuck. Thank you. That's a very helpful, Buck. I, I needed that. <laughs> okay, so this is... Oh, no. I've... Is that a tyre right here? Maybe not. No, I've got away with all my tyres intact. Right, this is problematic because this is a one-way... There is one way in, one way out. Well, this is a loop. So as I go around this, there's probably going to be one of them coming from the other direction because I've done this thing before. And that's how it tends to go. Oh, actually, they're not... No, I think they must have all got so tangled up in each other that I'm I'm free. I've, I've made... I've got through without without too much harassment. Now, there are some bullet holes in the back of the car, so there was a little bit of harassment in there, but not too much. And I, I can't believe I was that lucky. And I'm now going to just absolutely peg it. Um, 
because yeah I'm I'm in first place I want to keep it that way that means I'm a, ahead and away from them and yeah oh wow yeah I can I can feel the adrenaline from that one it was the the when I was doing the um, the approach up to the checkpoint um, and just about when when Mike went past me in the orange car and then I was getting closer and closer and couldn't see anyone and then spotted Paul that was oh that was tense and exciting Where am I? oh I'm up here already okay so the um the next checkpoint I believe is at the casino so I'm about to go past it it's up there somewhere um now I'm obviously obviously I'm not allowed to take it yet because I'm still in how am I in sixth place have I misread where the, misremembered where the checkpoint is I need to get somewhere quiet so I can stop and have a quick look at the map um, by quiet, I mean not in the middle of the motorway. Okay, I've got that checkpoint wrong then, because I thought it was just up here. Uh, for, oh, five is in the ghetto. <laughs> okay. I have just hooned the entire length of the city because I thought the checkpoint was up here, and it isn't. <laughs> now I feel silly. Oh, I was just thinking, I want a gauntlet, because the... Um, Gauntlets are quite common in the ghetto, and they're a nice, fast car. So, um, yeah, if I hadn't driven headlong into that one, then it'd have been a good one to take. Uh, there's another Stania. That did me reasonably well before. It was reasonably good at dodging. I could take a bike. That'd be... Um, I've never done that before, and it would. I would almost immediately die, because I'm not very good at driving the bikes. And I suspect they're not very good at shielding me from bullets, so it wouldn't be a good choice. But it'd be amusing. Oh, I'm not taking a Super Diamond. That's a terrible idea. What's that? No, it's a 9F. Not taking one of them either because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Welcome to Lawrence Plays Car Shopping. Ooh, there's Gaunt Gauntlet. Let's take that. I am also getting quite close to the ghetto now, so there are going to be hunters around. Don't drive into my car. I want your car to be undamaged. <clears throat> Right, let's try this again with a bit less confusion. <laughs> so, I need to get into the ghetto, which is down this way. Underneath that bridge is the ghetto area. So I'm in about the right place. Coming in from this direction, so the the checkpoint is... Oh, actually, it's just past the, um, the crossroad. There goes Pete. Um, I'm on far too major a road for coming in here. Uh, this is going to make things slightly tricksy. Let's go down this way. I don't know where it goes, but I don't want to be on the main road. So now I am heading away from the checkpoint, I believe. I'm surprised I haven't had a warning thing fl flash up yet. But I am also heading away from the peat, which I think, think is a good plan. Yeah, looks safe behind me. Okay, so I've come down there. I could... If I get onto this next road, this one, this one is the one with the railway going down the middle of it. Uh, there's Tristan. Okay, he's turned around and gone the other way. That's good. So this is the one with the railway running down it. So if I if I if I went down this road, I would eventually get to the checkpoint. I could try and take it at speed like, like that. That would be a possibility, but he'd be a bit overly brave. And I'm just run the red light. And oh, this is taking me back out of the ghetto. I don't want this. Yeah. So going down this road is a bit brave and a bit foolish so I'm only going to do that for as long as I absolutely have to if I head down it and then turn right as soon as I can this doesn't count this is a car park or a, a something a short way along here is this the bit where are the two road could I go here yes I definitely could okay Right turn on red is legal. Still seems, still feels weird. We don't, we don't have that in the UK. I, I fully support it. It's a good idea, but it's not something we actually have over here. So I, um, it feels weird every time I do it. Okay, so this is bringing me in round the bottom air e edge of it. Now, it's not ideal. If I, if I keep going down this road, I will end up in Grove Street, and that's not helpful because that's a dead end. But I, so I'm going to need to turn left before that, which is a bit of a shame, because if I could just go straight through there and carry on a little bit further, it will put me in a much better place for getting the next checkpoint. However, the last few times we played, I've come in from the uh, from the east, and it's worked 
pretty well, to be honest. But I don't like to be predictable. I like to um, change up how I'm approaching. So I'm going to stick to the smaller roads. Uh, okay, that part is predictable because I always do that. But I think anything else will be foolish. You saw how many of the hunters there were whiffling up and down the uh, the major roads over there. We saw um, Pete on the way in, going on the, on one of the big up north south roads, and then and then Tristan on the um, on the, following the railway lines up and down. So those are the ones that tend to have lots of. <laughs> oh, that was some good AI playing. <laughs> Either that or... Oh, no. No, he's gone to get reinforcements. I think this is going to... No, yep. Here comes another one. And another one. Oh. Just do something. Do something, Lawrence. Go forwards or backwards. It doesn't matter which. You've got to do one of them. Oh, I'm, I'm doomed. I'm... <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe I wasn't doing quite such a good AI impression. <laughs> oh well, it was a good run anyway. That was fun. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I've just gone fifth six, so I've just traded with you all as well. Yeah, um, I'm kind of at the far end of Vinewood. <coughs> um. I'm approaching Square of Squares, currently still first. So he's behind me. He's yeah. miles away. I think I've got him. He's in Vinewood. Okay. Okay. Heading to Vinewood. Kill him. Uh, right, where's he going? He's now heading south, I guess, down. Ooh, no double back. Hang on. What do you mean, right. second round? Uh, get, uh, get an actual landmark. Um, uh, has he seen yeah, head towards the west side of Vinewood for now. Uh, yes, yeah, he knows I'm behind him. Uh, he's in coming in the shopping district, like the posh shopping district. What colour is In, like, Rockford Hills type area. Isn't a, a, a black, um, plain black sedan, really? Um, is that near Maze? Oh, shop oh, No, a bit further north than that. Oh, it heads kind of towards University, and it's kind of south of that. Toward, like, a golf course type direction. Uh, oh, just going past the cemetery. Okay. Um, we're heading east now, uh, along that kind of top road, past golf oh, course. There you are. Hello. Other, other way, Mike. <laughs> I was really chuffed for the fact that that alleyway brought me out in the right place. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take this, this uh, right. long windy alley. Uh, Eclipse Tower. Uh, we're kind of on that main run through, uh, just past the kind of subway station. That's there. Uh, still heading east, and he's just gone south now. Um, not going over that little jump thing. Uh, we're heading kind of southeast, south again, uh, by the police station. Uh, kind of Rockford Hills Police Station. Uh, heading east back again um, by the uh, medical centre. A little kind of pedestrian zone that does the 93 stuff. Uh, he's heading on to the east west highway. Uh, we're kind of at the spaghetti junction type area where the jump is. Um, and actually, we're not going onto the highway. We are carrying on to the northwest highway now, I believe. Sorry, uh, north south highway. If that makes more sense. North south highway. Heading south. Oh, the yeah. One of the. And he's he's just gone off the uh, the jump by the um, by the construction yard. He's in the construction yard. He's crashed. Uh, I didn't get in there, so I may lose him. Don't get out of the car anyway. Just keep. Just no, but he's come out right. So we've just passed construction site now. He's heading down towards. Uh, Okay, past Chinese Monument type area. Uh, he's gone left here, I believe he went off-road a bit, so I might have lost him. He's around here somewhere. I is he 
he's first, he's first, he's first. This red car is, yes, he's, he's first. The red car heading to the checkpoint. Uh, he's missed a bit. Uh, I think north of it now. Yeah, uh, yeah, about to take the checkpoint. Heading which Turning way? left, yeah. In the family car. Yep, the car, I think. Yep, seen it. He likes that. Which way? Uh, heading east past the car park over there. End or break? It's alright, I don't know. Uh, yeah, past the red car park. He's going through red car park. North or south? Uh, straight through. Did he go out the uh, car park? He did, yep. Yeah. Straight through the car park. He's doubling back now, so he's taking a right out as he come out, um, and then that is a left again um, past construction site and left at Maze Bank. So heading towards Arcadius. He's in move me mode. He's taking lots of corners. Yes. Uh, heading to Square Squares. South past Square Squares. West side of it. Heading west from the southwest corner. Uh, oh, sorry, oh, that's not helpful. <laughs> Alright. You nearly got him. <laughs> He's heading that south into Ghetto now. I, I thought it'd be glorious if I could just swipe him, but I failed. That would have been worth it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where did you go? Left or right? In Ghetto. Uh, right, is he into Ghetto, Mike? Uh, on the train lines. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, uh, that would uh, be, that would be, uh, follow up right there. And I got stuck. I like to imagine that you were pointing when you said that way. <laughs> I mean... In, arena. In, in my mind, yes. Maybe the arena. Uh, heading north from the arena. Back into ghetto. I'm not going to challenge him much until people catch up. I'm um, about six cars behind you. Car Back on the rail. Cars. Okay, I will feel free to bump in there. Uh, where about are you guys? I've had a couple of spins. Uh, in ghetto, heading east now from the tra from the tram lines. Uh, okay. Lucky plucker. Okay. Because that's helpful. <laughs> We just did the donut shop, we reckon that part. We've just done a donut round it. He's That's by the church in Ghetto. Oh, okay, by church in the Ghetto. Uh, heading east yep. of the church. Heading east. There awesome. is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Cool. Hopefully, you got tyres there. Uh, yes, you did. Excellent. I'm in ghetto, I'm not seeing anyone. <coughs> no, um, where are you? Uh, medical right centre. Uh, it was right there. I sent him at the moment. Yeah, I, I thought so after I shot past, but I thought I'd try and cut off. Still at the medical centre, heading west. Sorry, Paul, sorry. Oh, is someone in a brown oh, car? My gun's Yeah, that's me, that's me. Has it crossed sorry. the storm drain or have I gone too far? I can uh, hear hang on, fire. I got run over by a, um, an AI. Damn AI. Me and Book are very close by, we can hear gunfire, but can't see anything. Yeah, Any I'm location? Lost. No, I'm lost them. Where, where so did AI you see him last? Over. Uh, the kind of by the car park. Which car park? But he honestly could be on there. Oh, you lost him? Yeah. <laughs>
that's just, it's behaving very weirdly. We have both rammed it a few times. It might not be him though. I'm sick, it's on the other side of the room. That is not an AI. Someone just pointed to the car park. Yeah, that's it. Dude! What good are you using, Mike? Somebody shot my tyres. Uh, that's a machine gun. It's a gun that fires machines. Yeah. Well, yeah is, I, he is he taking the John style click out at the airport. Or at north, I mean. He's, he's leaving the airport. Does he have tyres? Yeah, that's If he has tyres, then I fail. Yeah, no, you got my tyres. Oh, success. Where is he? Leaving the airport on the main road. Or he was on the main road. Fifth again? Is anyone sick? Uh, I think I've got him at Grove Street. Yeah. Yes, you have got him in Grove Street because I'm still yes. in the ghetto. I'm gonna pretend like I haven't. Um, Actually, in Grove Street. You he is just literally at the entrance of Grove Street here. He's in a grey muscle I'm car. Right behind you, if you want to start. Changing. Yeah. He's just gone left. Got him. Yeah. Not bad. Hold going. Got him. You get in front. I get behind. I'm blocking him, I'm gonna keep blocking him. He's a track. He's not a track. <laughs> How many bullets? <laughs> there were many shooting each other there. Pardon me. I did. Hello. Did I? Hello. Do, you... <laughs> Do you like my big, my big pink roadblock? <laughs> <laughs> Infected big pink roadblock, yeah. 